Hey, Megan Scully, and this is the Limerick Post Show. Join me now. It is Tom Cranley of the Ice Group, and we're going to talk about the four-day working week, which is music to my ears. Tom, how are you getting on? I'm great, Megan. Thanks for having me. It's great to chat to you, but before we chat, chat about this four-day working week, which I think a lot of people want to know about, talk to us about the Ice Group and the work that you do. Yeah, so we're a recruitment and training and HR services company, uh, primarily based in Galway, but we operate as Pitman Training here in Limerick, so people on William Street Cathedral Place will recognise us from up there. Um, but we have a lot of different uh, companies that go on. We help a lot of people in the west of Ireland get jobs and get new courses and careers. So, yeah, that's what we are, we're up to. And of course, at this around this time, two years ago, you started to roll out the four day working week, which I know has been trialed in quite a lot of uh, European countries around, and they seem to be having great results. And um, so I guess you're one of the first companies in Ireland to take this on and to trial it. Talk to me about the four day working week and maybe the results that you've gotten from it as a company. Yeah, I suppose in July 2019. Um... We took a big, bold step, really. I think uh, it was brave. It was a little bit scary for our owners and directors to, to make this move, but uh, overwhelmingly positive uh, since then. I mean, I remember the day well being in the room. Um, you know, we didn't know this announcement was coming and it was utter shock. And our director will tell you that it was complete stunned silence <laughs> because people thought, you know, we were maybe we were losing a day of work rather than anything else. But it turned out that it was a well thought out plan. They had, you know, picked up all of the potential positives and negatives that we could have had. And since then, it's just been, you know, we focused on the three day weekend as much as the four day week. So it's as much giving back to us as it is trying to make it productive for the business. Uh, so we, we work hard during the week and then we have our well-being time at the weekend. Uh, and, and luckily, uh, we got to choose whether we wanted the Friday or Monday. And uh, as someone who does like a long weekend, I went for the Friday. Nice. Um, so I'm Friday, Saturday, Sunday is my uh, time off now. That's absolutely incredible. And I suppose as a company, and when it comes to performance, did you find that performance has gone up because of this and because maybe people are probably maybe happier having a three day weekend? Yeah, exactly. Um, we actually found that it was 27 percent, I think, is the statistic we had. Um, and overall, you know, we're more focused, we're more energized, we're happier doing our job because we know that if you get you know you always want to be task oriented and have a goal and get to something get it done so we now know that we have a little bit less time to do it but when we do get it done we're out the door you know we have this extra time off so yeah the 27 percent um productivity increase uh, was massive for for the company because it meant that uh, we were much better off as people um coming back in to do those jobs so our clients that we were happier um when we met them that's absolutely incredible. And I think, you know, it kind of nearly goes back to school time when you'd have an exam and you're able to cram. If, you, if you're told you have an exam on Friday, you can literally cram all the information in. So I guess it's making the most of that time in the office. And as you said, getting all the work done in those four days. So you get that extra day off. And I guess maybe with the pandemic, other companies start to realize that with everyone working from home, productivity was up as well. And I suppose the good news as well this week was that it has been announced that four day work week Ireland is something that's going to be trials now and also want to add that your company have now decided to make this a permanent move yeah we've been permanent now for a year and a half like we did a six month trial ourselves um so it's great that four day week ireland have come onto this and that there's going to be proper research into it because like i said earlier we were a little bit scared we were a little <laughs> bit going into the unknown um trialing something ourselves but companies out there now will have the support um that they need for that their own six month trial starting in january 2022 um, but now is the time to sign up and kind of get prepared because it's not a decision you make, you know, in a week's time or whatever. But uh, employers now, like now is the time to go and look at it. Um, and I suppose if you're an employee or a member of staff, now is the time to to put that message to your employer uh, to push for that uh, extra well-being time. I think it will be incredible. And as you said, 27 percent. I mean, the stats are there to prove that productivity is even better. And as I said, having that extra day at the weekend would probably mean so much to people, especially people who live maybe in different counties away from their family, those who maybe have their own children as well. It gives them that extra quality and that extra time. And I believe there's been some funding put forward as well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like we're very lucky. I suppose the companies are very lucky that are going to go into this, that the government has um, agreed to back it in, in a way that will be alongside the research um, because, you know, the results do speak for itself. I know, like we said, we were doing a six month trial, but we're two years in now. <laughs> so you can't argue that it doesn't work when we're literally here saying that it does. 
um, we wouldn't be around if it didn't and we definitely wouldn't be shouting about it but uh, you know the the results are obviously from the business side are perfect and you know brilliant with the 27 percent and increase in customers but also from the personal side of things you know coming up on our two-year anniversary we have started you know asking each other what are your highlights and things like that and it can be something tiny it can be something huge uh, like one of our guys um our it guy martin um is delighted that he gets to spend some time in the garden with his digger you know he's you doing a bit of renovation work um our hr manager brianne is because she's off on fridays like myself will actually get to go to her son's uh, preschool graduation uh you know whereas normally the childminder might have had to go to that um and then uh, i've been quoted as saying i got a, a degree because i have my time off so uh, you there know you, 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 you get these different achievements <laughs> for different people so um it's uh it's it's all positive it's just i suppose adding quality to our lifestyles as well so tom if any companies or employers or employees are watching this right now and thinking okay maybe this is something we could do how can they get involved or maybe apply or, or you know maybe give give the trial a go yeah i mean if they want to look at our story we have four day week with the number four dot ie four day week dot ie but if they want to actually go and find out more about the trial it's f-o-u-r the four day week dot ie uh, and they can find out everything about the pilot program, all the research, all the other companies that are involved and, and everyone that's supporting it as well. Super. Well, I'll include the link in the description box below as well. Tom Cranley of the Ice Group, thank you so much for chatting to us the Limer Post Show. And I think, you know what, a four day working week, it sounds pretty good to, to a lot of people. So I think we're going to see a lot more of that happening in the coming years as well. Thanks, Megan. Now's the time to ask for it.